Hello, 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 all my crafty friends. I'm going to either start this video or insert it somewhere, but I wanted to do this because I'm going to show you a fully finished object that I have, and then I'm going to show you my newest fabric from Grace Notes Fabrics, Fabric of the Month Club. And the reason I'm gonna go ahead and do this now, which is like Thursday, is because by the time Monday rolls around, I hope to have started a project on it. And I'll be showing you that project on Monday. So I did this for a friend of mine. I think it's so cute. It's my first time ever making a pillow out of a cross stitch piece. So be kind or calm the flock down. Isn't it so cute? I'm not a sewer. I have stressed this many times. So, and I found the cutest fabric at Walmart to go on the back of it. It's all flamingos. My friend loves flamingos and she's sarcastic like me, so I think she'll love this. So I made this for her and I'm gonna give this to her when I see her Saturday. So that's why I'm showing it to you on Thursday that I'll be inserting in my video on Monday. Keep those dates straight. <laughs> and then um, my latest fabric of the month from Grace Notes Fabric is a fat quarter of 16 count Ada. And the color is mint chocolate chip. There's the little watermelon sticker I got. And then here is the fabric. It's my first time opening it. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the modeling on it. So it's got some green and brown in it, which I think is very pretty. And I am going to do the Home Sweet Home Sampler, which is 12 houses from Cross Stitch Magazine on this. And I will be showing you that in the video that this is going to be attached to. So, yep. My latest fabric from Grace Notes Fabrics. Mint chocolate chip. I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to, my plan is to use this. If not, you'll see something else on Monday, but I'm going to lay some of the threads out and uh, check to see if they work because the first fabric I pulled you couldn't see some of the colors and I'm like I'm not going to sit here and stitch something that you're not going to see. So I'm going to make sure some of the that all the threads work on here and then hopefully get started on that. That's going to be my at work project. So yeah I'm really loving this fabric. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. Anyway see y'all Monday which will just be like boop to you. Bye. Good morning, all my crafty friends. How is everybody doing today? Today is Monday, March 27th, and I am here with a little um, update, cross stitch, and other stuff. I went shopping. <laughs> so, um, yeah, which reminds me, I need to get some of my stuff out. I'm trying to remember what I've shown you and what I haven't shown you because it's been two weeks. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go with what I have here. And if there's something I forgot, I'll put it in the next video. <laughs> um, I'm going to insert right here a video that I took earlier in the week that shows you a fully finished object that I have and uh, my um, fabric of the month update. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. Okay, now that that's done, welcome back. It's Monday again, March 27th. Yay. Um, it's been two weeks since I've been here and I apologize for that, but I think that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do every two weeks because, yeah. Um, so let me show you what I'm working on. I did some work yesterday on my Heaven and Earth design. I did 373 or four stitches, something like that, on my Heaven and Earth design. So this is my Heaven and Earth design. It's Hannah Lynn's Library Fairy with no background. So this is what I'm currently working on. And right now I'm filling in this book. So let me show you what I've got done. This is where we're at. So it's coming along. I've almost got that book done. Yay. So that's where I'm at on that. Um, that's the only time I've worked on it these last two weeks because I've been working on other stuff. I got that one piece finished. 
and then I've been working on other things. So let me show you what I've been working on while I've been at work. So I finished that, woo, the lighting just changed. I, um, that flamingo piece you saw, I did that while I was at work. And this was what I was working on at home. But when I finished the flamingo, I took this to work and started working on it at work because it's a smaller thing. So, so this is what I'm working on. It's a needlework welcomes. And I'm doing this bottom one down here. And this is what I have done so far. So I started here in the middle with, I think, this flower. And then I, I came over here and I did the C and the sewing machine. And now I'm working on the little quilt here. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm making this for my youngest daughter. It'll go in... Uh, over where her sewing machine is in her teeny tiny little apartment house thing that she lives in. So yeah, th that's my second project. And this is, I have it in my mason jar bag. I'll show it to you next time. I made myself another bag. Yeah. It has foxes on it. It's so cute. Which is what I'm keeping all the stuff for this one in. This I got out of the Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, I saw it in the issue that the April issue that I got. And so I went back in archives and printed out the rest of them so that I could do it. So this is the Home Sweet Home Sampler from Just Cross Stitch magazine. It was a stitch along or is a stitch along. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Oh, this, this was from 2022. I really went back and looked and found this. So I just started this one. And right now I'm working on... Hmm. I think I'm working on this house right here. Because I know this is the other one. And so I think it's these two are the first two. So I'm working on this one. It's a very small start, but I'm starting it on that new fabric that I showed you earlier. This is um, chocolate chip or mint chocolate chip from Grace Notes Fabrics. So I've got the top of the border. I didn't do the whole border in case I miscounted. And then you can see I've got a little bit of the roof done. <laughs> very small start. Very, very small start. But this is what I'm working at at home now. Um, but yesterday I was in the mood to do my Heaven and Earth Designs piece, my Hannah Lynn. So that's what I worked on instead of this. So yeah, I've got... The Hannah Lynn will be an in-process piece for a while. Um, so, but yeah, those are the pieces I'm working on right now. Now, uh, back on the 17th, I went to a scrapbook expo up in Irving, which is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, I do scrapbook. I go at least once a year to a scrapbook retreat up in, um, wow, the name of the town just whoosh, slipped my mind. Um, yeah, anyways, I go to a scrapbook retreat at least once a year. I normally go right before Thanksgiving because things are a little slow. The chaos for the holidays hasn't started yet. And I get, I try to get a year's worth of stuff done. So I went on this to this expo and spent a lot of money. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my haul from that. So we all know my oldest daughter is getting married in three months. So I bought some um, wedding uh, pack packets to scrapbook. We've got her um, wedding shower coming up. So I'll be using these for that also. Yeah, those are pretty. That's, that's for the wedding. And then, sorry. I'll just scare my dog and throw those on the floor. And then, my husband and I would like to go on camping adventures. So I got this one. This is from Cartabella Paper Company. And I'm sorry about the glow. I'm right in front of a window, so the glare is, it's real. And here's another camping one, and this is from Photo Play. It's called the 
great outdoors and they all have this sticker sheet on the back which they show you like down here some of the stickers and these are all the papers and this is also from photo play this is cabin fever and this is from echo park echo park is my favorite paper company for scrapbooking um you put Echo Park in front of me, and I'm probably going to buy it. Um, so this is um, Let's Go Camping from Echo Park. I'll show you this in a minute. And then... Okay, so that's... And then... They had this, which is all 50 states, right? It's got, uh, geez, the glare. The, they've got a, one side of the sheet is the whole state, like this. Okay, it has the, the shape of the state, the name of the state, and when it became a state. And then on the back is like, let me just show you because the glare is horrible. I apologize. And then the back is all these little cute little things. It's got the little map and the, the you know, I'm, I'm guessing that's the flag. I don't know. Anyways, so I was like, you know, my friend's like, the friend that I, uh, I'm, a friend of mine lives up in that area, and so we got together, and she went with me. And uh, she was like, oh, patience, you need this one because, you know, Dwayne retiring in a few years and y'all are going to be traveling to the U.S., you need this one. And I'm like, I already had a lot of, this was down, this was at the, where they were checking you out at, at the Echo Park station part. And I was like, oh, I've already spent too much money. No. I said, I'll just get it another time online. And the guy's like, well, you're not going to get this deal online because it was like $20 for this pack and I was like oh, okay fine and she's like she goes uh, it comes with both sheets and he goes no they're two sided and I'm like she goes well you have to get the second one I'm like you know what no I'll just wait and he goes I tell you what I'll give you both of them for 30 discounted even more so I have two <laughs> y'all Echo Park is my favorite. Okay, so another little booth had some um, little pre-made scrap. There, you can make two-page scrapbook layout, and they had they have all the paper. They show you what the layout is going to look like when it's done. Okay, I figured this would be really cute for one of the times Dwayne and I have one of our little beach trips, and they have all the paper already cut to size for you and everything. And then they have all the pieces cut out, okay? Um, I could do this, but this was only $5. You can't beat that. That is time for me not to have to do this or to even think about the layout. You can't beat it. So that's one of the layouts I got. And then I had to get this one because it has a Jeep on it. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh, Off-road. I love it. So it's got all, it's got the papers for it and everything and then the, the cutouts are on the back. And then this one. I couldn't pass up the little bears. Aren't they cute? This will be for one of the times Dwight and I goes camp go camping. Oh, I just love it. And then here's another one making s'mores and I only paid five dollars for each of these and then I have a uh, Apache Indian in me and so one of the things I love to find whenever we go somewhere is uh, petroglyphs or petrographs depending on which ones they are so this one says petroglyph exploring oh, I love it Love it. Anyway. 
And then I got some Christmas stuff because Christmas is, you know, one of my favorite holidays. And uh, this is from Cartabella. It's a very Merry Christmas. So it comes with all those papers. And look at the stickers. And I love that Santa. Oh, look at that Santa. Isn't that like an old tiny Santa? Oh, and look at the car. Oh, I just love this so much. So much. Right. And then this one is also from Cartabella. It's called Christmas Delivery. I love those papers. Look at those papers. Isn't it so pretty? And then all the stickers. Oh, so beautiful. I love this little envelope. So pretty. And then... I just thought this was cute, you know, for when, like, my daughters come over and if we make things together and stuff. I just, homemade with love. And it's all old-timey, fashion-y things. I love it. And on the back, it has this little thing with measuring equivalents on it. Love it. And then... Arm house living. Look at those papers. We got cows and chickens. We just got five new chickens Saturday. So they're back behind my room in their own little coop. We keep them separated for a few weeks. I love that house. I can't wait to see what that full page looks like. But yeah, I'm loving this. And then there's the stickers. And then I have country chick the 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 country kitchen. Look at that rooster. He's a sticker. Look at it. He's so cute. <gasps> He's probably a jerk like my rooster, but I still love it. I love this. I'm not a big fan of the floral paperwork, but I'll I'll figure out something to do with it. But I love that. That's also Cartabella. And then we have my favorite Echo Park. Forward with Faith. I love this. So I figured I could probably use some of this once I get back to my uh, Bible journaling. I love this tree. It is so pretty. And then I bought some, just some, um, well, here, let me show you this last packet, because now we're down to autumn. And this is from Echo Park. It's a perfect autumn. Isn't it so cute? I love those colors. Oh, this is so pretty. And look at the foxes. Oh, I'm going to have to go get my uh, bag that I made and show it to you. But isn't that so pretty? And then look at the teddy bear and the little fox and the raccoon and the owl. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this. So pretty. Fall is also my favorite time of year. Both of my favorite times of year are right there next to each other. Fall and Christmas. <laughs> and then I bought some um, paper, just some loose paper. So this is one side and this is the other. Look at those gardening boots. I love it. I love it. And then I got some nice coffee mugs. And this is the other side of it. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that so cute? Love it. And then I got some turkeys and pilgrim hats. This is the other side of it. Love it. And then I got some fall leaves and then some little cards that say different things. And 
And these are all from Reminis. Oh, actually, they're from different companies. I got them all at the same booth, so I don't know why they're from different companies. Now, I don't... I love Halloween, okay? I love decorating for Halloween. I told my husband we're going to have to have a party one year just so I can use this paper because... <laughs> Okay, this is one side. It's got all these cute little cutout cards for uh, writing on the scrapbook pages. And then this is the back. Isn't it cute? I love Halloween. <laughs> oh. And then this is one side. Eek boo! And then it's got little Halloween houses on the other side. So cute. And then these are all one-sided. Thought that was pretty. I think these are from, I don't think, this is not part of my haul. These were from something else and they were just stored in the area. Okay. So not only did I get paper packs. I just knocked stuff over. I got some embellishments okay so here are some Christmas these are um, chipboard accents aren't they so cute <laughs> I love the little know me <laughs> and then here's some more Christmas ones And then, I don't know how, but I ended up with two of these. I might have grabbed two by accident, but I thought this was cute. And, let's see if I can find it real quick. To go with this, I got this which are some little puff stickers it goes with this and this more little some brads and some more little chipboards aren't those so cute so they all go together i just can't even <sighs> okay so these are little uh cutouts Christmas cutouts and that's what's all in the bag I love this reindeer love him and this mailbox is too cute and then here's some puff Christmas from Echo Park love the mug put the little candy cane down in the mug so it's like hot cocoa with a peppermint stick in it I just love embellishments. They just really make a page come together. Look at the blue and white. Look at the polar bears. Aren't they adorable? And the penguin. <gasps> oh, I am so in love. Can you tell I like Christmas? <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, look at the little puppy. He's so cute. I love that little envelope right here. It's so cute. And then we got some more brads. I love those. Those are so pretty. And then I've already used this set because um, my daughter, our youngest daughter's, uh, family let me use their lake house while I was up there to stay in so I didn't have to rent a hotel so this is what the whole set looked like and I've already used this piece right here to make the card I'm thinking about going into beekeeping so that's why I bought that just in case and then here's some fall Here's some more fall. And then for 
Uh, these are more little cutout pieces, and this is what all's in there. So it's kind of like gardening stuff to go with that gardening pack I bought. And then we have some wedding. To go with the wedding pack so far. So cute. And that's my scrapbook haul. <laughs> yeah, I, I went a little crazy. But it will all get used, so I'm not worried about that. It will all be used. And uh, it might not all get used right away, but it will all get used. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have to buy stuff for a while. <laughs> of course, while I was gone, my husband texts me and he's like, or when it was, was it when I was at work one day? I don't remember. Anyways, he texted me and he's like, hey, do you have any colored card stock at the house? And I'm like, do you, is that a rhetorical question? And he's like, no, it's a real question. Like, do you have any like greens and blues and yellows and stuff? And I'm like, do you even know me? I have a whole freaking scrap box full of full sheets of card stock and scraps. So he's been making, uh, for his train, he's been building, not to actually run with the train, but just kind of sit in the back for decorations. These little uh, freight cars, you know how sometimes you can just drive around, you'll just see lots of freight cars stacked on top of each other. So he's building those and he wants colored cardstock too, because he's building it out of uh, cardboard. And then he found this thing in one of the, railroading magazines he subscribes to that has the design of freight cars so he's printing them out on the cardstock and then using my he, he overtook my room yesterday y'all used my scan and cut to cut them all out so that he could then glue them to his cardboard pieces do i have cardstock please <laughs> i have every color of the rainbow and then some so, anyways, that's my crafting update for today. I am also working on, you know what, it's small. I can pick it up and show it to you. Um, a friend of mine brought this by to the office when I was working the other day. And she's like, can you do this for me? Because I really don't want to do it. So, it's, this is what it'll look like when it's done. And this is where I'm at. I hope you can see all of that. So, that's what I've got done so far. So, I'm working on that for her. I was going to start on my own, but she brought this first, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it. I did because the one that I wanted, I already basically have it kitted up. This is what I'm working on for myself, It's or what I will after I'm done with this. It's called Woodland Church. I'm going to work on this one for myself. And I had to buy a second drill case because it has like 72 colors. Or 62. Anyways, it had my case holds 60 and it has more than that. I think it's like 64. Yeah, 64. So I had to buy another drill case to hold my drills in. <sighs> Crafting is not cheap. Let me go get my other bag that I made. I pushed the wrong button again. So here's the back of the bag. Isn't it cute? And then here's the front. It's the little foxes. And I still did it wrong because this is, this was supposed to be on the inside. And y'all, I stopped the video and played with the fabric two or three or four different times. Because see, this is supposed to be on the outside so that it's different, so that it's not the same thing. But it's still cute. And then on the inside, because I didn't have enough of the other fabric I used polka dots but it all came from the same bundle so all the colors match yeah isn't it so cute and then i did a little green zipper but i did better this time it's still not perfect my daughter is still working on my labyrinth one because i want that one to be perfect and she is a lot better than i am but i got me another bag 
and I think these bun the bundles of fabric are like five or six bucks and then the zipper is like two dollars a dollar something so I mean it's and then it just takes frustration and time <laughs> If you're a sewer, it probably doesn't take as much frustration or as much time. But I am not a sewer at all. But I love my little bag. It's so cute. This is what's homing my um, home sweet home sampler. It's in here. All my threads and stuff for it. Which I, that's what I wanted to show you. Mm. I'm not pausing it because I'll push the wrong button again. I'll be I'll pause it. Okay, so I had an I placed an order with one two three stitch and it came in, and uh, I got a bunch of threads, like forty things, of, forty skeins of thread, because I needed a lot for my home sweet home sampler, and um, I did a thing. I'm not gonna start on this till I am done with Hannah Lynn because only one girl at a time. But I got Nora Corbett. This is Minerva. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my god. I love her. And I've heard that these are difficult. But when I look at the pattern, it's a lot of color blocking. I think what's going to get me, because I haven't really done it yet, is she comes with beads. So we've got some of these beads. She comes with four different beads. I think that's probably what's going to kill me on this one. Those aren't as shiny as the others, but they're antique instead of glass. So yeah, that was, that was what I was thinking of that I wanted to show you. I knew I had something else come in. I just didn't remember what it was. <clears throat> put those back in their bag and put her back all together so I don't lose any of it. And uh, But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to working on her. She's so but not till I'm done with Hannah Lynn. Nope, not gonna happen. One girl at a time, one girl at a time. But yeah, I went ahead and got her. I don't know why, probably should have just waited for a sale or something, uh, but I was like, you can't just buy thread, even though it was a lot of thread. So I bought a pattern too. <laughs> and now I know how the addiction gets real. So, that's all I have and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in two weeks unless that's Easter. Well, it'll be the Monday after Easter. So anyway, see y'all later. Bye.